all right thank you once again for joining us today at matoka tv studio all right today i come across the god servant apostle army Osai powerful session it really blesses my life so much wow i'm so much blessed you need to listen to this clip all right um over to you sir supposed to rise then satan will sell the idea of idolatry and the people will become so committed to idolatry meanwhile the original purpose was that there will be a household of prophets it takes a lot of spiritual politics to arrive at that equation and if god can have as much as one man that is accurate with him he can begin to claim the ground again so that the ground will be tilted to fulfill his original intent are you that man if you are that man then nigeria will not drown are you there all right let nobody accept what is happening in the land it's contrary to the blueprint contrary and i speak so passionately because i've been an ambassador of nigeria to different nations yes i bought the flag yeah to different lands and before i arrived at the places where i came to some other nigerians had come there and made for us a very terrible name yes so my going to some of those places made the people change their minds about Nigeria. I've been doing the campaign, that campaign, that quiet campaign of restoration, I've been doing. Yes. So I have a right to speak for Nigeria. I have a right. I told you my story. <coughs> Last year, a nation invited me to be part of the swearing-in of their president. A nation. Not a, a church, not a pastor. A nation invited me, paid for my ticket on their airline. I was in business class. A nation. So when they brought me to where to sit, they said, this is the seat for Nigerians. I said, I'm not here as a Nigerian. I'm here as a, a representative of Zion. Oh my God. There is, oh my Jesus. This is not my seat. I, look for my, yeah. So they now located my real seat. It was not nationalized. It was for Zion. That was where I was. I don't, I, want, I don't want to finish the story because your heart will break. While I was weeping, because you need to hear the, the shout. Because those guys voted the person they wanted. Are you following? Their hopes were not kidnapped. You know... We have experienced kidnapping of human beings so much that it became easy, convenient to kidnap the hope of a nation. Their hopes were not kidnapped. They are beloved. They voted him in against all us and I was there on that ground. You need to see how they shouted for liberty, for freedom. When that guy drove into that place, gee, I wept. I said, God, it, will, you, will you do this in my lifetime? Will, we, will Nigerians release, ventilate? Will they cry for freedom like this? And see it come to pass. I was weeping on my seat for two hours. And it was a public place. So when you are, anything you are doing is public. I, I, I was unconcerned about people's perception of me. I was there for Zion's sake. And my jurisdiction was Nigeria. Oh, you need to see that the glory of that day. The glory of that day. When that great man swore by the Bible. I said, Kai. Not by Ogugu, not by Swem. Not by Akbar. Not by Shongo. He swore by the Bible. And I went on my knees. And I began to weep straight for two hours. <coughs> for two hours. <coughs> Are you there? Guess what I saw after two hours? 
raised my head. I saw some of our prophets. Eh? And prophets, you know, in Africa, marketing prophecy, trying to tell the, the newly elected functionaries that we prophesy too. Ah, see? Hey! May you not be an agent of Satan. Yeah. When God is building, <coughs> when God is restoring, then some people came with the flesh. And the reason why I will not go beyond the, this, what I just said, because those people are people I respect. One of them is someone I respect. But what I saw him do there, oh, he, he needs prayers. Because he has served the Lord and I'm aware of it. So he needs prayers. He needs serious prayers. <coughs> One of the people. If you have ever moved in the anointing before, you will know that you, you did nothing for the anointing to come. It is sovereign. It is the glory of Jesus. And if you are privileged... To carry, to walk in that glory. You need to do it with fear and trembling. And give glory to God every day. Never use it as a platform for self-projection. Because you would have violated the covenant. Only one, only the fame of one should be heard among the nations. And the fame of Jesus. The fame of his anointing. And just in case you become known, is it, it is incidental, it was not part of the package. Eh? Yes, not part of the package. So, be known as one that was in active service to him. And that's how, that's your own portion. Hallelujah. Not that you are marketing, trying to be known. And the resources with which you are marketing are supposedly resources that were handed out to you. By grace. If you are marketing to be known, it means that you do not trust the process that God has put in place to elevate you. You have veered off. And see, these veering offs don't take place just like that. There are spiritual politics behind the scene that leads to a nation veering off from the mark. Now, I want to show you something quickly in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 4. Then if you can understand that, we'll proceed. Genesis chapter 4. Now, the back end of...